Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a reading for Michael Vaughn. They call him Monkey. He has been missing for a year now and I have been seeing a lot of articles, news, posts, videos um, about him recently. I think they are searching for him. If not, he has been found. I'm not sure. But I been seeing a lot about him and i know about his case i've seen his case but i never actually looked into it so i don't really know what happened and so since i've been seeing a lot of stuff about him i thought hey maybe i can um take a moment and try to channel him since i don't know much about his, this case it's a great opportunity for me to channel because that's how I do best when I don't know little or to nothing about a case, right? <clears throat> so, okay. So I wrote everything down, okay? And I also pulled some cards. And I got a lot of things, okay? So I'm going to I'm going to talk about what I channeled with him. Now, okay, so the first thing that he shows me, um, I saw that he was outside of his house, okay? And, okay, here's the thing. Um, with my visions, they are either literal or symbolic. So sometimes it's just symbolic of, of, you know, of what's going on and it's not actually what's going on. Um, that's just the way how spirit works for me. So I'm just going to say that. And of course I have to say this, <laughs> not all of my psychic uh, visions are not actual facts, right? Um, these are just my visions. Um, and I just have to put that out there before I start. Um, okay, so yes. Okay, so the first thing he shows me is he shows me him being outside. Okay, and I saw him with like, um, like there was a bike on the floor. Okay, so I don't know if that if the bike has anything to do like symbolically or that's just you know that's just my way or spirit's way of showing me that he was outside right so i feel like he was outside of his house and i see a man and i see a car okay and i feel like um either he grabs his attention or i feel like this man took him okay i feel like this man took him um i don't know exactly why he was outside i don't know if he was playing outside um or what he was doing i said but i feel like he was outside his home for some reason yeah he okay and then he shows me so okay i don't know okay i i think this is more symbolic than literal he shows me him being tied up okay so i see him being tied up and i think this is more symbolic than literal i think that's just the way of of expressing that he was tied um trapped right like he could have been trapped And I'm also getting him, I don't know why they're showing me this, but I'm going to say it because they do show me. They show me him like pulling his pants up. So I don't know why. I don't know if it's because his clothes were taken off or he had to take his clothes off, right? I'm not sure, but this is what they're showing me. So I'm going to say it. I also see, they also show me him being dragged um almost like and, the, and here's the thing i think i see two people that's the thing i i see one person is holding like one side and another person's holding the other side but the thing what questions me is that 
he's a five-year-old so i don't think he's heavy <laughs> right i think that especially a man definitely could just carry him but for some reason that's the vision that they're showing me is they're showing me one person grabbing him and the other person so it's almost like they're dragging so i don't know if there was some type of drag and and what's interesting is that they show me this more than once okay they show me this in the beginning when i was channeling and more towards the end they show me that again i don't know if that means that there were two people involved or that's i don't know what but that's how i saw it um okay then okay okay and this is where things got really weird for me when i started channeling oh my god i started getting this really heavy anxious feeling and it was really bad that i started crying it was really 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 bad and I just kept wanting to say, get off me, get off me. This feeling like, see, and I feel like it's coming back like that. You know, I, I can relate to it because I've had anxiety, really bad anxiety. And immediately I felt like it was that feeling, that extremely anxious feeling, like get off me, get off me. And that's literally what I was feeling then i calmed down i took a couple deep breaths and i saw they showed me a man pulling a knife i don't know if he used a knife i don't know if he owns a knife and that's just their way of saying he owns a knife but they showed me him with a knife and so I'm going to, okay, so I'm going to say that because that's what they showed me. They also showed me, um, okay, yes, okay. So they showed me a vision of a man grabbing. And here's the thing. I don't know if this happened. A part of me feels like this happened. But I don't know if it's with um, the person that kidnapped him or someone else. Because he's showing me a vision of somebody putting him like on the counter. And kind of like going down to his level and like talking to him. Almost like he's like angry at him or scolding him, right? Like, like sit down in the counter and then he's like, you know, you did this or, you know, something like that. It's really weird, but they showed me that. Um, they also show me. Okay, so I feel like the person who, or this man, I feel like he have seen this boy before around the neighborhood. I don't know. Here's the weird thing. And then, okay, this is how I feel. I feel like this person keeps track of all the children in the neighborhood very weird but every time that he passes the street and he sees a child outside or playing he keeps like a mental note and keeps it going right so it's almost like he knows all the children that are in the neighborhood or he knows of them I feel like this was something that was planned. I don't know if it specifically was planned with this child specifically. Or it's just like they were planning on taking a child. Right? So whoever they saw at the right moment at the right time. One of the children of the neighborhood who was alone, unsupervised perfect timing and i'm going to you know take that opportunity and go with it right i feel like this is something that was planned this was something that was planned so, but i don't that's the thing 
I don't, it, well, to me personally, it doesn't feel like it was specifically towards this child. It's just, it was the right place at the right time. And they already were planning to take a child. They just didn't know exactly who, but it just so happened to everything fall in the right place at the right time, right? That, that type of situation. That's what it feels like to me. Um, okay. So I feel... The, okay, so the vision that they show me this man. And I wrote two numbers and I, I, don't, I don't remember. I think those are the ages. But I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly. But they... Show me this man who has short hair or almost bald hair or he's balding. I don't know. But it seems very short or almost bald. Like that's how short it is. Or that's how much little hair they have. Um, I feel like this is a, uh, if I believe this is a, a Caucasian man, right? A white man. Um, he feels like he has light eyes. Um, and the way that they show me is they show me him... Um, like a mug shot so i am wondering if this person has a criminal history and that's why they're showing me like that or um they're going to get caught and that's why right that's what it feels like um i wrote down 42 and i wrote down 56 i don't know why i don't remember why i just know that i put like I put the little 56, I don't know if you can see it, um, and a 42. So I think that's probably the ages that I believe this person is or maybe around there. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. And this is the part where I wrote that they show me him again being dragged on the floor. Okay. And here's, okay. So now, but this time they show me this, but they show me a little bit. Like, I, I'm seeing a little bit more of, like, the area that he was at. It feels like a shed um, or or a garage, but I don't feel like it's a garage. It most feels like a shed or, like, a really big shed. And I see a window. Um, it feels like a shed. And only because I see, like, I see a lot of tools, a lot of, like, stuff around him. And I feel like they placed, right? They placed him there. And the way the vision they show me is that this man sees him in the ground, right? Like in the center of the, of the ground uh, or the floor or whatever. And he goes and he has a chair and he sits down and he's like thinking. Then he gets back up. Then he goes back and sits. And then he gets back up. And it's almost like he's worried or he's planning on what to do next. Like, Oh my God, I've gotten to this point. I, I've, I've made it to here. Now what? What am I going to do next? Right? That's what it feels like. And okay, so then we have that. Right, and then I feel that. Um, okay. Okay, and then the last thing that they show me about this man. And I also pulled cards for this. Um, what they show me is... They show me this man, he, well, this is how they show me. I don't know if this is like actual, right? They show me like him um, wearing like a beanie and uh, gloves. And I feel like I'm moving boxes. So I'm wondering if this man worked in a warehouse um, or like a factory or he like unloaded stuff or maybe he he does like labor type of work maybe that's just symbolic right because I, I sometimes i can't tell so is it symbolic that he did like a labor type of work that's the last thing that they show me um when i asked him i i didn't get much else um i did do an evp session so i have to review that and see if i can get names um, location possibly, but I, like I said before, I pulled out cards, these, um, crime cards that I, that I made from scratch, um, 
And the first thing I got was I got murder. Okay. Um, and then, okay, this is how it came out. I got this card first, this card second, run away, and this card third, farm. Okay. So I'm wondering if, okay, if they're letting me know that this is what happened, right? He ran away with this child, committed a crime at a farm or nearby a farm, okay? Then the second the second row, I got Hitman. This is my card for tar like this person has been targeted. Okay, emotional abuse, okay? And then I got shopping. To me, shopping is like they were out looking, right? They were out looking for something okay they were shopping right so and then targeted so it kind of makes sense then i got landfill okay which can mean like they dumped something maybe they're near by a landfill right um i got far away far away which is connected to runaway okay so i definitely feel like they moved to a different location um and then i got the s word Right, the S word. So that could possibly be that um, someone has mental illness, or you know, whoever took him probably has mental illness. Um, so that is what I got so far when I did my first channeling um, for him. Um, like I said, after that, I immediately did an EVP session. So I'm gonna see. I still have to review it and see what I get there and see what, you know, what connects and uh, what fills in the puzzle pieces, right? All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time.